opening day is three and a half months away or four months away. And that's something that you think that, oh, I have four months to get ready. Like, I don't have to worry, I don't have to rush, I don't have to have a sense of urgency, but can't afford to take days or months or weeks off like that because it comes faster than you think. And you know, every, every hour of work that you put in in the off season is something that will pay off when the season comes around. But I think you have to, you have to remember that it comes faster than you think and it goes faster than you think. Like, we were super close last year as a team. Like everyone was, there were no outliers that were on their own page really. At least there weren't enough to make a difference because there were so many good guys on the team. And when you're that close, it hurts like when you don't make it. So that's what was the toughest thing, that it was like you could taste it, you could touch it, and you could almost, you could almost grab it, but you never quite got there. When the season ends, I think a lot of people don't know is that you, you'll go play summer ball. They'll ship you off to states across the country, Alaska. There's people that go to Wisconsin, Minnesota, all sorts of places. And you do that for sometimes two and a half months. Sometimes you're home for four weeks. But then once you're back here, you kind of hit the ground running. There's not, there's not really a grace period for people getting their feet wet. You kind of just dive in and you, you learn as you go. take two steps forward and one step back, or one step forward, two steps back. You want to be moving forward. And so this is a big year to kind of get that snowball effect moving and to start making this into something that, that just builds on itself. This program is something that, that feeds on itself and that every year, you know, it's just a cycle. It's a cycle and it's just onward and upward forever. I don't know, the off season for me is a time to work out my kinks, kind of. It's a time to like experiment, to advance yourself in any way possible. You know, you can't exactly change your batting stance every other game during the season. It's, not, it's just not something you do. It's something that you go into and what you are on that day is what you present to the team or to the opposing team. And the same thing for me, I'm not gonna have a different delivery or, or, or different pitches every game. That's the time that you like work on the things that you wanted to work on. It's the time that you add to your game or take away things that need to be taken away. Um, it's a time that you figure out how you are when you're at your best and be aware of what you're like when you're at your worst. 1,600 toe touches and then 400 jumps. I mean, we had, we'd have morning waits at 7 a.m. Guys would go to class from 9 to 12 for some freshmen. After that, we'll practice, and practice will start at 1. It'll start at 1, that's, the day, that's when the balls start getting thrown around. But, I mean, if you have injuries, if you want to get out here and get more work in, I mean, it can start earlier. It can start an hour earlier. It can start two hours earlier. But after that, I mean, 
you practice and you just go till you get it right, really. There's no set time. I mean, you go to get it right until the sun runs out. So you'll leave and you'll pack a lunch. You'll fill your backpack with food for a whole day because you don't know when you're coming back, which, yeah, it's tough, but it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of a blessing that you're so, that you have something to do all day. I think, you know, if you're so busy all day that you can never worry about anything and then you're so tired at night that you can never worry about anything, then that's not a bad way to live. That wasn't great from the fungal hitters all the way down. It wasn't where it needs to be, but I think the mentality was right throughout the whole practice. It teaches you to work, you know, to work and to understand the difference between, you know, doing good work and doing poor work because you get exposed if, if you don't go about your business the right way. If you did, it's not accurate. It's not the way you can tie. Yeah, you were giving signs like this yesterday. Why not take the time and be productive? Just teaches you to kind of grow up, kind of forces you to grow up. Guys, uh, this is the last phase that will take us through the ball ball, okay? The front squat is going to be for four sets of five, okay? These are all based off of those maxes that we got last week, okay? You're going to pair that with four squat jumps, okay? So we're not starting with a power exercise. We're going to do what's called complex training. You put the power exercise right after you do the strength and you've activated your nervous system. You can go ahead and start getting the weights going, all right? You know, it's, it's totally different. The speed of the game, the like level of commitment, everything's different playing in college. So I think that that's something that everyone deals with. It's just a matter of who does it better, who's able to do it faster and start moving forward from there. Baseball is something that you can totally dive into and, and just like give everything for. And I think that everyone needs that thing. And it's not baseball for everyone. It's not baseball for most people. I mean, it could be a million different things for a million different people. But for me, at least, it's baseball. And it's something that like, it's like, uh, it helps me. You know, I, I don't think of myself as giving anything to baseball. I think of baseball as giving more to me. Because it's something that, um, I don't know, it helps you grow, it helps you, it helps you do everything. I don't think there's a single thing that you'll do that baseball couldn't help you with. Whether or not, whether it's patience or, you know, aggressiveness, I mean, calmness or, you know, having an edge or anything like that, I think that it has something to offer for everyone. I think the most of the things I've heard is that we, we should, we could be good. It's that we have like the potential to be good if, if A, B, C all fall into place kind of thing. It's not like we're not a sure bet, which we're not, and which if we thought we were, then, then we'd be in trouble. But it's that we have the pieces to be good. It's just a question of whether or not we'll put them all together. Lines on three, lines on three. One, two, three. Lines. You know, you, we don't practice just to be good at practice. We practice to be good at a game. And this is when you get, this is like your test. This is your final and you get to see um, all the work you've put in and see how it pans out. Just underway in Page Stadium. Glad you could be with us for the start of the Loyola Marymount Baseball 2015 campaign. So for the Spartans, it'll be Dylan Smith to lead things off. 